Welcome back to another Gill Bears Repairs. Today we're going to change the fuel filter on this 2017 Renault Megane. It's a Megane 4. This is part 3 of a service series on this car. Right, let's get on with it. Right, so we're about to replace the fuel filter on this 2017 Renault Megane. It's got the 1.6 diesel engine fitted. The fuel filter actually comes with the housing attached. So the filter element is there and it comes with a new filter lid. So you don't have to do anything, you just drop down the old and screw this new one up. I'll smear a little bit of Vaseline around the seal, put some Vaseline around there and that'll uh, make sure that when the seal goes off it goes in nice and it seats correctly. So we'll get under the car and we'll drop the old filter down. We're down under the back of the car. We're on the passenger side, so the left-hand side of the vehicle. So it's the near side in the UK. There's a 10 mil bolt there. There's a couple of little thumb wheel things there. They're 24 mil. There's the other one. 24 mil socket on there, just to get that cover down. And then that exposes the fuel filter in there. And that looks big to get on that, about a 30 mil, I guess. So we'll get this cover down and then we'll have a closer look. So all we got is a 10 mil here. And I think it's a 24 up there. This is only finger tight, these are only like little um, thumb wheel type things. That's 24 mil. That's all they are, look. Just like a little flat disc. And they screw on to uh, like a self tapping screw that's on the bottom of the body. So we just pull this down out of the way, get covered in dirt. And that exposes our fuel filter there. Yeah, so there's the filter that he's staring at you, the housing. So there's a tap there to drain the fuel down. I don't know if that comes out the end of it or out here, I'm not sure. We'll have a look. And then looks like a bigger one there. Got a 32 yeah 32 goes on in nice so it's a 32 mil socket to undo the end of the housing so we'll drain it down first we'll see where the fuel comes out of whether it comes here or here all right so i've got my bow ready i'm not sure if the fuel's coming out here or here let's have a undo of that undo that in an anti-clockwise direction all right comes out the bottom look just starting to drip so we just let that drain down and then we'll undo the uh, we'll undo the housing. Right, so it's drained down. I'm just going to put that back in to hopefully have as little mess as I can here. I'll get me 32 on there. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, he's going, look. <laughs> this is why you got to put Vaseline on this seal. We'll put Vaz on that. Oh, I could hear fuel gush in there when I... Uh, I could hear some bubbles going. So we'll just uh, get our bowl under just in case. Yeah, look at it, look. So just be aware of this, it's messy. It's a messy job. And there he comes. So that's our filter element. So, so this actually gets chucked away and we just put a whole new assembly up. Right, so here's the housing, look, it comes out as one piece, the new one, that's why this one was 30 odd pound, it was expensive, comes complete. So you get the whole housing. There's no cleaning up required really, you just got the clean item here. Essential, take that out of the bottom, take him out. If you don't take that out, it's gonna be a world of pain. So take him out, I've got some Vaseline here. Just Vaseline up this seal. 
and this will just make it easier it won't pick up it won't um drag as it's going in the housing and and roll on itself so we just give it a bit of a vase all the way around that seal and should make it easier to come off so that's all we require that's going to be good for fitting and it'd be prevented if for the future we should be able to get this assembly off easier i'm going to do this up make sure this is done up now here so he's tight and then we just get our 32 socket on there and spin him up nice and easy right so you can see there i've left the container under because it was dripping i've cleaned this housing i've given it a good wipe around make sure there's no debris there or any uh any foreign matter so we just get our new new filter that's why you've got to take off that red bun slides up through there and then we just spin him on turn him in you can't over tighten these he's got a couple of little ratchets so we're getting there now and you could just see them if you focus your eyes here there's a couple of little latches and they'll latch over that on the fuel filter housing so you cannot get this you can't over tighten this so if you watch it as it comes around and then he snaps up over there that is it you can't go wrong with this make sure that, that is done up make sure that tap is done up or you're just going to be pumping fuel out on the floor that's it i'll give it a spray down with some um, brake cleaner make sure it's clean and dry then we can check for leaks on run up clean and dry been sprayed down with some brake cleaner so when we're running up we're going to be looking for fuel coming out of this joint here that's where we're looking but it's all clean and dry we're going to prime it up now and start the car now we've replaced the fuel filter the housing is empty there's no fuel in that um housing so we've got to prime it up we've got to fill it with fuel we do that we just um put the ignition on a few times it'll come on and you can hear the pump i can hear it bubbling away so i can hear the pump pushing fuel into that filter housing be patient i can still hear it going i can still hear it gargling at the back of the car right so that's how long has this been going now about 50 seconds so we'll leave it a minute it's still i can hear the fuel pump running but the gargling noise has stopped so now i'll try and start the car and see what happens yeah so it started we'll leave it on um We'll idle for a minute. So he's running nice, he's not lumpy, he's smooth. So I think we're okay. I'll just leave it idling. I'm gonna leave it idling for a good five minutes just to let that fuel purge through. We'll go downstairs and we'll check for leaks on the housing while it's running. The engine's running, it's been running for a few minutes now. It's smooth, it's not lumpy. There's no signs of fuel coming out of this housing here. So I would say that's successfully done. I would put a bit of copper slip on them. If I was you, a bit of copper grease, lubricate them, they look rusty. And also up here, I'd put a bit of copper grease in there like, to protect yourself for the future. But the job we're doing, it's successfully uh, carried out right so that's the um fuel filter replaced on this 2017 renault megan quite a basic task because that housing is included with the filter it's nice and easy um just take it down no cleaning put it in a bin screw the new one up priming it very simple i just put the key on left it for one minute and it purged itself it started and it's ran fine and ran fine ever since so um nice easy job the next job that i'll try to get to appear here now is the pollen filter on this same car should be a link that should appear here now that's to change the pollen filter if you found this useful this video useful and it's been informative to you today could you please like subscribe and share and i'll see you next time